I think some people see me as a bit of a daredevil. Well, my family and all the locals that live around Salton Sea say it must be because I'm crazy. It's a personal goal. It's a personal challenge. It's something bigger than just myself. Walking over a hundred miles in heat and humidity like you find at Salton Sea in the summertime is not going to be easy. It's taken me almost a year to plan and figure out how I can deal with that heat and that humidity without just dropping dead right there on the shore. If the sea is allowed to dry up, then we're exposing the hundred years worth of farm chemicals to the air. Fertilizers, pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, insecticides. This can make countless people sick. People won't be able to live in this area, and that includes Imperial County, Imperial Valley, Coachella Valley, Palm Springs. It demonstrates that there's actually a far more costly impact of inaction than anyone has calculated to date. Our food prices would change. A lot of different crops would be affected by the fact that they couldn't be grown here anymore. This area would be extremely dusty, and we'd have to import some of our food from different countries, which doesn't help our economy. Honestly, I'm trying to draw attention to the Salton Sea. I expect the temperatures in June to be between 105, could be as hot as 120 degrees. But that's all part of the challenge. Over the last year since I've been doing my training, I've seen the water drop another several feet just in the last year. And if we don't do something, it's going to get a lot worse. Water crossings, like all of the drainage canals, the rivers that flow into Salton Sea, it's a challenge to get across those. That's going to be difficult. Slipping on some rocks and twisting my ankle could be deadly if I'm stranded out there in the middle of nowhere with, with no access in or out. Nobody wants to see a daredevil jump his motorcycle over just one bus. They want to see him jump over 20 buses. And some of them probably want to see him fail while he does it. I hope that completing this walk, I can bring a little bit more attention to the current state of the Salton Sea so people are aware, so that maybe we can make a change.